high intensity path. Let's just go ahead and get off the bike. <laughs> we getting, we getting tricky out here. So the river is Sewa and the waterfall is Bekongor. Oh man. No. Now I'm sliding down trees with mushrooms on it. You see the mushrooms on this tree. <laughs> Look up any video of this waterfall on YouTube. I bet I'm one of the people who's gotten closest to this waterfall. Let me get a little bit closer just to make sure. Hey, it's Worldwide Hodge. Like, subscribe, everything. I love y'all. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Starting the day in the province. Kono to be exact, Kono of Sierra Leone. Check out this beast up. Supposed to be making some juice later from this plant, Bisop. Today, we're headed out to this waterfall. What's the name of the waterfall? Beat Congo. Beat Congo. Headed out to this Beat Congo waterfall. It's supposed to be really big, extremely powerful um, waterfall. And it's just it's the start of the day. Kono, you know, is also known for mining. So hopefully we'll also be able to see some of the mining process later. Stay tuned for that episode as well. You dropped you dropped off the charger, yeah? Yeah. Okay. We got our transport here headed to the waterfall. It's gonna be um 70 Leon, something like several dollars, two, three dollars. <sighs> you know, we gotta do a progress style. Three people in the bike. And here we go on the road. This town has so many animals. If you notice all the chickens and goats just randomly around. And they call it a village, but I really look at it more like a small town. I really look at it more like a, a town. The last census said it's about uh, 5,000 people, but that census was several years ago. It's probably about seven or 8,000 now. Okay. Like a bushy type of area. A lot of plantation, palm oil. <laughs> you said palm oil, what other kind of plantations? Cacao. Uh, cacao, like the chocolate plants. Oranges. Very thick bush out here. And our driver also agreed to help guide us right there to the waterfall, maybe be able to give a bit of a tour. Ah, uh, this is intense. You know, I'm a big guy on this bike. You see here, so what, there's an electricity project? Yeah, they are trying to build a dam, like the, uh, the waterfall. Okay. The electricity distribution for authority, Ministry of Energy, Government of So if you could see here, this Bekongor hydroelectric power project, basically um, the government is trying to get an, electric, an electrical dam installed here with this waterfall that we're going to visit. It's um, a project here and 
Yeah, this is still on the way to the waterfall, but and this sign is basically just t t talking about the it a entrance. bit, yeah. Yeah, the entrance. To, to, to the entrance to the waterfall. So here goes the path. The whole time I was here in Bitcongo, but it's Bekongor. Bekongor, okay. Uh, interesting. High intensity path. Let's just go ahead and get off the bike. <laughs> you sound about that oh yeah, I can. <laughs> yeah, you can hear the waterfall even from here. What, what's your name, by the way? My name? Your name, yeah. Abbas Touré. Abbas Touré. Yeah. Okay. I think he knows some history about the place. He can explain. Yeah. So Abbas is going to be our guide for today. Uh, you can show us, show us very well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the way we just came up this path, the bike was <laughs> slipping and sliding all across here. But yeah, I guess we're close now because we can hear the waterfall. Let's go now. Uh. You wanted to carry the charger through here. <laughs> Uh, but this is cool. This is cool. The nature. Uh -huh. <laughs> cool breeze. Uh -huh. Nothing like this in Freetown. <laughs> now there are some some hikings and things inside of Freetown, though. Freetown is so crowded, man. Mm. Okay. All right. Have to slowly go down this this hill here. They said it's a bit risky. So I said, this is the time I should pull out the camera during the risky part. Nah, but really starting to hear the, the waterfall a lot more. I don't know if the camera microphone is picking it up or not. Ah, it's starting to get treacherous. Okay, let me turn off the camera. Yeah. Yes, indeed, check it out. The river. <sighs> you said it's river what? River Sewa. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> river Sewa. <sighs> oh yeah. We getting we getting tricky out here. <sighs> so the river is Sewa and the waterfall is Bekongor. Oh man. I gotta turn off the camera. You see, even for Brother Umaru, it's his first time climbing down. Oh, don't you? He's trying to get brave for the camera. Like I said, it's treacherous. Coming down this hill. It's very, like, steep. Easy to slide down because the dirt is loose. I came here for a festival. No. Now I'm sliding down trees with mushrooms on it. You see the mushrooms on this tree. <laughs> but the view of the waterfall is getting closer. It's actually magnificent. Eee! Very unexpected start to the morning. Worldwide highs, you know I give you the direct content though. Even if it's mushrooms like this. Even if it's waterfall. And the sweat, Worldwide Hodge is here for you. Hit that like and subscribe. You can see it. Yeah. Yeah. Worldwide. Actually outside. Some people just talk about it. Hey, how do I drop down here? Some people just talk about you it. You can hold the stone. Come down. But as you see, Over here, it's actually live and direct. Completely and fully in effect. In the sandals, in the jeans, in the watch. I did not expect to come out here today, but Mr. Romardo behind the camera. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna flip around like that, buddy. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Omarda behind the camera. Gotcha. Here we go. Yeah, this man behind the camera. <laughs> he told me to wear shoes, but the only shoes I brought here to Kono, they're a little bit more uh, formal in a way. So I didn't think they'd be appropriate, and I was right. All right, let's take these rocks. <laughs> While holding the GoPro. <sighs> now this is a lot easier than coming down the hill. Hey. Yes. <laughs> Make on board. Let's take a swim. Yeah. So, this the waterfall they say is powerful enough to power the whole area. If they were to put a dam right here, it would be a nice development for Sierra Leone and for like this part of Africa, generally. All this raw untapped potential in Africa. Raw untapped power. Wow. When the guys get together, turn into, turn into daredevil. That's the spirit of men. You do things just for the thrill of it. Look up any video of this waterfall on YouTube. I bet I'm one of the people who's gotten closest to this waterfall. Let me get a little bit closer just to make sure. Have you seen anybody else get closer? I don't think so. <laughs> nah, this is really cool. It's thrilling. Even though I'm out here with no shoes on and jeans, I'm really enjoying this. This thing is so powerful. I said before the video stops, let me come to the top. So as you can see, the water is coming from here. It's the top, top of the waterfall. I don't think anybody's brought you closer to this Mekongor River. Okay, Mekongor waterfall. We got Umaru. We have a boss. It's appropriate to go ahead and close it out here. Look forward to the Fuller Cultural Festival. I should be shooting that tomorrow. I might be able to see the gold in the diamond mines. Hey, it's Worldwide Hodge. Like, subscribe, everything. I love y'all.